In this video we'll take a look at how to load data into CAM350 and DFM stream version 14. So this is the new interface. Uh, most of the importing is done through the file menu. Um, everything from opening up an ODB, a PADS, a GenCAD, DXF, IPC directly or importing uh, again, those choices along with our auto import, which is of course for loading Gerbers, being able to load Gerber mill and drill separately, netlist data, even the old uh, HPGL. So if I'm going to do an automatic import, which I do typically for Gerbers, I point towards the directory. I can use templates. I can set up templates if we always use the same file names for the same types of layers to help us discern what those layer types are and you can see that it has figured out what our various layer types are because of the uh, templates that were used. Here's my formatting options, uh, file types. You can see that it's going to load the IPC D356 file. Uh, it can also load the drill, various drill files. Looks like there's five different drill files and along with the electrical and peripheral layers. If I hit next here, I'm brought to the Stack Up Visualizer. The Stack Up Visualizer is new in version 14, and one of the nice features is that it allows me to set layer sets without having to go through the menu system like we had to in version 12. So uh, I can either choose from down here and it'll highlight up here, or I can choose up here and it'll highlight the drill layer down there. So I can see that I've got a drill that goes from 1 to 3, so all I have to do is drag that so that it shows it from 1 to 3. Then my next drill goes from 3 to 4. All I have to do is define 3 and define 4. And then my last one I can just come over here if I want to and drag it directly so that it's 4 through 6. And you notice that it figured out the hole types for us. That works for through holes, blind, buried, back drills, uh, it will figure that information out for us and why it's important it uses that information when we do run analysis on the design and if I do have an unplated layer I can actually set it for that right here um, now there's other things you can do with the stack up visualizer uh, we'll have a video directly on that but uh, let me just auto add some dielectrics here so it kind of looks like a, a real board I can put the layer labels on here so I get a real good view of what my board's going to be. Hit finish and it will go ahead and load the design. That's how you will load through the auto import process. Now, if I wanted to replace a layer, I would just go to import Gerber data, choose the layer that I want to replace, just browse out to the replacement version of it. And then it's going to ask me if I want to uh, empty the existing one, merge into the existing one, or cancel. Well, obviously I want to empty the existing one, and it loads up my new layer one for me. So that's how you can replace an existing uh, Gerber layer after you've already gone through the auto import process. Let's take a look at importing ODB++. So if I go to import, choose ODB++, I just simply browse out uh, to the directory. And you might have noticed that it keeps the recent files in there. It'll keep the recent files for each of these uh, types of data that you load when you're loading singular files. It'll remember that path. Also in the auto import process, it'll remember that path. So I just simply go out to my uh, ODB++, and whether it be a... Uh, a zip file, a TGZ file, or a directory structure, doesn't matter. Any of those can be loaded through the ODB++ importer. Okay. That also works for your IPC 2581, and it would also work for uh, things like DXF data. Uh, GenCAD data, or even say PADS ASCII data, where we want to go out and load a uh, 
a pad zasky file now if you've already loaded it previously it'll remember it you can just click on it there and it'll go ahead and bring it in for you okay the other thing you might notice is all messages have been sent to the system messages window now instead of having all those pop-ups that came up when you were loading for instance a pad zasky all that information now goes down into the system message window So these are the basic ways to load data in CAM350 and DFM Stream version 14.